Hey everyone, I'm Onua, and in today's video we are taking a look at the Bakugan Legends Collection Pack uh, with Chaos Nova Trox. So, bring it in so we can see closer. Uh, here we have a picture of Aquas Maxidon, and there they are, and there's their name. They are the Bakugan. Uh, we have Montrapod as our Geogon, there's Darkest Montrapod, and a picture of them. Our Nova Bakugan is Chaos Trox, go right there. Here's Chaos Trox in the bubble, and there they are, right there at the top. Right there. And then our Ultra, with the Battle Gear, is Dragonoid X Auxilator. So there they are. I believe it's Pyrus and Arlis. And then there's the battle gear and a picture of them at the top there. So, yeah. On the bottom of the box, we just get some words and our barcode. On this side of the box, we get a nice picture of uh, Aos Nova Trox there, as well as the uh, list of the back you're going. On the other side, we get a picture of uh, Dragonoid X Auxilator. And another same list as on the other side. On the back of the box, we get our product shots of all of the figures that come in this set, as well as a list of things that are included. Go on, Ariel. We get two ability cards, three character cards, six cores, and two gate cards. And then we just have a bunch of words and a bunch of warnings. So, uh, yeah. That's it for the packaging. Let's get open up, take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here we have everything out of the box. Uh, first, we have a little instruction booklet that just tells us how to change the batteries in our Nova Bakugan. And then just a bunch of words and warnings. So, okay. Moving on to the cores, our first core is an orange shield with plus 300 bees. Next is a helix with plus 600 bees and minus 3 punch. Then we have a green fist with plus 150 bees and plus 1 punch. A magic shield with plus 500 bees. Another green fist with plus 150 bees and plus 2 punch. And finally, another orange shield with minus 300 bees. Okay, so moving on to the cards. Our first card is an Arlis Gate with a green fist. It is 300 to Pyrus, 0 to Aquas. 400 to Ventus, 200 to Chaos, 500 to Arlis, and 100 to Darkus. Our next one is another Arlis Gate with a Helix. It is 100 to Pyrus, 600 to Aquas, 100 to Ventus, 100 to Chaos, 600 to Arlis, and 100 to Darkus. That. Next is our first character card for Chaos Nova Trox. They are Magic Shield and Green Fist with 800 bees and 6 punch. And nothing at the bottom. Next we have Darkest Montrapod, the Geogon for this set. They cost 1 energy, have 400 bees and 4 punch. And on orange shield, plus 900 bees. There's that. Next we have uh, Arlis, Dragonoid, and Auxilator, with, who are orange shield and green fist, with 100 bees and 5 punch. And on green fist, uh, we get to add on the battle gear and fuse. I'm flipping over to the fusion side. Uh, here is Pyrus Arlis Dragonoid X Auxilator. 
Orange Shield and Green Fist with 500 Bs and 6 Punch and no special stats down at the bottom. There's that. Then we get our Battle Gear card which is for Magma Blade. Costs 2 energy uh, on Green Fist plus 300 Bs and it gives plus 100 Bs and plus 1 Punch. So, strange that we get the one for the sword, but we get the shield for the uh, Infinity Dragonoid. So, but okay. Get that off the side. And last, we have Aquas Maxidon, who is Orange Shield and Helix, with 1,000 Bs and only one punch. And on Orange Shield, you get to remove a core. So... Here's that. Okay, it's getting close. Take a look at each of these figures individually. First up, we have Aquas Maxidon. So, we'll bring him in. Uh, we got some light orange paint there for the tusks as well as for the eye. And we have some kind of cyan -y blue uh, on the back of the neck as well as on the ears on the chest as well. Got some light pale blue, picking up some details there on the chest. Uh, we got some orange hair on the legs and some more of that cyan -y blue running along the sides as well as on his tail. Attribute symbol picked out in that same uh, light pale blue. The B power located right here in the back is 1000 Bs. So yeah, uh, to fold them up, we take the trunk and flip it back and fold down the head. We fold down the ears and fold up the legs. We then want to push down the tail and just press it all together. And there you have him in his ball form. So, bring in a gate card here. Make sure we get the magnet and have him facing forward. And we'll drop him in 3, 2, 1. There you have Aquas Maxidon. Next, we have Darkus Montrepod. So, we'll bring them in. Uh, got some black plastic here for the head and dark purple plastic for the length of the body and the black plastic for the end of the tail. On the head, we get some nice uh, light kind of turquoise blue. Picking out the uh, antennae, gem on the head, and the mandibles and eyes. Uh, we get some light pale pink. Picking out detail there, as well as all along the underside, except for the end parts. Uh, we get this kind of silvery gunmetal paint, picking out each of the legs. And then just some more of that uh, light, cyan, light turquoise blue there on the end of the tail. Uh, B power, look at it right there, it's 400 Bs, and uh, yeah. For comparison, here is the original Darkus Montrepod. You can see how they look. Uh, this guy was the uh, most viewed video on my channel for the longest time until I came back and uploaded the one for a uh, platinum elemental neo feral. So, if you do want to see a video on him, uh, I'll link it in the video below. So, yeah, go go watch that when this one's over, if you're interested, of course. But uh, so there they are. Uh, differences are all the green got replaced with the light turquoise and all the purple on this one uh, was traded in for darker purple and uh, yeah then we just got some silvery gunmetal as opposed to just the black paint on the original one but uh yeah so there's that so for folding up Montrepod 
we want to take the head and fold it back. We then want to take the tail and just start rolling it up the length of the body. And at the end, it'll all click together and there we go. So, bring in the gate card. Make sure you got the magnet. Drop him in three, two, one. There is Darkest Yogon Mantrapod. Next, we have the Pyrus Arliss Dragonoid X Auxilator with the Baku Gear uh, Magma Blade. Uh, this is a shield, not the sword, but okay. Uh, so, bring them in. Uh, not much paint to talk about. He's pretty plain and very bootleg looking, if I'm being honest. He doesn't really look like an official Bakugan. He kind of looks like a bootleg that someone tried to make of an official Bakugan. Yeah, but, uh, so, we got some pale yellow there for the eye as well as for the horn. Got some very crappy painted on gray there for the hands as well as for the toes. Got some more yellow there on the feet. I'm removing the back of gear so we can take a better look. Uh, the wings are actually pretty decently painted. Uh, that symbol's not in the center. But uh... Uh, we got some yellow paint on these ends, and then just orange running down the others. And then both the symbols are picked out in the very light pale yellow. Uh, no paint on the tail, and his G power. Located here on this wing, it is 100 Bs. So... Uh -oh. Is that uh, for the Baku gear? Uh, it is cast out of this translucent uh, black plastic. Has some pale yellow paint there on the tips of the cannons, and then just some gray and yellow paint just thrown onto the uh, nano gear. So, yeah. And then again, B power is not printed on these. But uh, yeah, so quickly take a in-depth look at this. So this is the Baku gear. Uh, it has four nano gear along with it. So I just separate all these. Uh, we get our two little trident fork things, which just have pegs on the back as well as a port on the top for stacking them. We get two of those. We also get two of these moon blade bit things. Also have uh, the pegs on them. And yeah, get one of those. And then we have the main body which just has this handle bit for whenever it's a shield for Infinity Dragonoid and then just the two guns up top. Uh, folding it up, uh, you just take this top bit and you just press it down. Then these little fork bits get pegged together one on top of another. Okay, so this gets plugged on to the top in the middle like that and then these peg on on the back side so they go like that and then you'd bring this down and that would be the shield so so that looks and for popping it open uh, the magnets there I just dropped on the figure in three two one there, you have the Baku gear. Okay, so removing the Baku gear and setting it off to the side, we'll do a quick comparison. 
Here is the original uh, Pyrus Arliss Dragonoid X Auxilator that came with the Infinity Dragonoid. So you can see that th this one is much better quality, like looking and painting, than the new one is. Like th this one is just it. It doesn't look that great, and it might just be my copy, but the paint job especially on the hands there, are just not good at all, so, yeah, it's, it's bad, but, here's how he looks with the original, so, yeah, set that off to the side, and for folding this guy up, we want to squeeze in the arms, they are manual, uh, we flip back the horn, which is another manual piece. We then want to bring down the head and bring up and around the tail. And that will hold all that down. We bring back the legs and bring in the foot. And then bring down the wing and that will help hold the foot in place. Do that on the other side, so you want the foot in like that. And you just bring this down. Hold that into place. Make sure you hold the tail. And these bits, you can kind of just move your fingers out a little bit to allow them to move in. And you move these bits up, you hold them, and then this back pit will hold everything into place. And it looks like that. And being an Ultra, we will bring in a core, and we'll see if we can get them to land on their feet. So dropping in three, two, one, and they did. But uh, there you go. That is the Pyrus Arliss Dragonwood X Auxilator. And finally, we have Chaos Nova Trox. So bring them in. Uh, cast out this nice kind of cloudy, translucent white. Got some white paint there along the neck as well as for the jaw and some very shiny kind of pale blue there for the eye got that same blue on the chest and uh, the kind of cyan green uh, for the toes as well as some more light blue on the legs and then on the sides of the body we just have some more of that cyan green with the light blue there, and uh, yeah, so B power, located right there, 800 Bs, there we go, so yeah, so with them being the Novas, uh, we just pull out this tab and that act lets the LED interact with the battery, so we'll pull it, ooh, this might be one that looks about as good on camera as it does in real life. So. Okay, so don't know what triggers it at the moment. But, uh, yeah. To fold this guy up, we want to push down his little arms, they are manual, and flip back his toes, which are the other manual parts. Then we can take the head and flip it down and flip back the neck. We then take the legs, we bring them up, and then the tail just comes all the way around and locks everything into place. Go so just like that. Move that out of the way, and bring in gate card. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Then, and let's pop him open in the light so we can see him and then we'll dim the lights and fold him up, pop him open again so we can get that Nova Glow and better lighting. But so here we go in three, two, one. There's a very nice kind of bluey white LED. Okay, so get him folded back up, dim the lights, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, so here we are in much better lighting. So let's pop them open again and get a better look at the Nova Glow. So dropping him in three, two, one. Ooh, a bright glowing orb of dino. Let's try this. Okay, so it's his tail that activates it, but yeah, there you go. That is the Chaos Nova Trox. So there you go. There you have the Pachygon Legends collection pack with uh, Chaos Nova Trox. Uh, as always, a huge thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it. And if you're not already, but and find yourself coming back to my channel regularly, uh, please do subscribe. It'll help me out a lot, and it's free for you to do. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Onua out.